mean, I definitely love doing stuff like that just for the whole community and stuff. I feel like it's more of a community thing. You know, it's just everybody coming together, having fun, just having something to do on the day. Yeah, definitely amazing. I mean, if it wasn't for COVID, I, I wish we could like walk through the stands and stuff, you know, say hi to everybody. But, you know, with COVID, we did as much as we could. <laughs> Pretty much just go out there and play basketball. I feel like just seeing us, you know, having that fun and that energy. I feel like that's that's a lot right there. Oh, good. I know that when you first arrived here, one of the first things you did, of course, went to pick out. And right. It's been a while, but the Flamingo Mass is still the same. So. Uh huh. Can you share with us then that, you know, basic cookout honor and you've had a chance to kind of acclimate yourself to North Carolina and Staples specifically, things like that. What other off-the-court elements have you been able to kind of Off-the-court, uh, it's a... Yeah, it's a That uh, Cosmo and Wanda talk to you different, man. Now that shit good for sure, though. I definitely need one right now talking about it. That's, that's how good it is. Yeah, I mean, it's for sure a nice experience. I mean, I always wanted to do that, even with like. It's crazy because I wanted to do it back in like middle school, high school, and after that, it's just never had the, never had the time, or just never did it. Or, or when the team said we did it, uh, some incidents happening stuff, I couldn't do it back in my high school, so I just never got to do one, and we finally did. So yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just play it by the day. I was, like that just popped up in my head in a second, so I just did it. Something like that happened in the game, just do it. No Nike. So I feel like it's just, I feel like it's already written for real. It's so much stuff we got in common that we didn't even know before until we just start hanging out and stuff. It's just everything for real. Like he used to always be number one. I was number one. He do sign just like me. Like shit crazy. We got, we got the exact same signature. Like, we brothers from another world or something. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, you mentioned uh, you guys hang out off the court about two, man. Yeah. You guys on the court. Definitely. It's a whole brotherhood. You know, it's not just, like, teammates. It's family. So, we on the court playing like that. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Lamelo. How are you? I'm talking. Oh, you got that VIP, huh? <laughs> show, show, show my boy, you good? Uh, good, good. Good to see you, man. I would like to ask you, how productive was this training camp for you? What growth did you see on your game? And what is the ceiling of that group from your perspective? You said a group. A group from your perspective? Can you repeat it, Chris? Chris, can you repeat that? Yeah, you hear me? your game in this training camp and what is the ceiling of that team from your perspective? Sorry, one more time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. What is what did you see as the biggest growth on your game the, in this training camp? Oh, what I see is the biggest growth. Okay. Yes, and uh, uh, what, what is I the ceiling is the of biggest that growth team? Uh, for the team? I mean, we probably we we in practice every day. We try to grow and expand all part of our game. So, yeah, we're just going to keep in coming in every day and trying to get better. Good afternoon, Jason. Um, I know that uh, preseason games are more about your own team necessarily than the opponent, but I was uh, wanting to ask, as a point guard, you made uh, a few pretty creative passes in his day, how much you respect and appreciate young LaMelo Ball's game and what he does as a facilitator and, and winning Rookie of the Year last year. Yeah, uh, well, you talk about Rookie of the Year. Uh, also very creative, uh, in his own right, a, a very good artist. Uh, understands, uh, you know, how to play the game at a very high level. 
um, puts a lot of pressure on your defense. Uh, you know, being able to get back in transition defense, uh, he's one that can throw the touchdown pass with the best of them. And so uh, this is a, a great challenge for us defensively to get back and then ball can cause a lot of problems on the defensive end. Um, deflections and steals, uh, he, he, he has a nose for the ball, he has a very high IQ and so we have to take care of the ball because the Hornets cause chaos on the defensive end with deflections and steals. So this is, this is a good test on both sides of the ball for us. Hey coach, I don't know your policy on this, talk about your own game, but did you ever look at any current players and say, he reminds me of me out on the floor when I played? And with respect to LaMelo Ball, I think your name has been tossed around as a, a big, tall point guard with great vision. Does he have elements to his game that remind you of part of yourself? Yeah, I, I think he, he has uh, fun when he plays. Um, he's very creative. Um, he understands what it means to win. Um, and so being a, a taller guard, um, with, this, with the pace that he plays with, um, I just wish I was that tall. Um, but he, he makes the game easy, and he, he's exciting to watch. Uh, as as a head coach or you know a fan, you're gonna watch him play um, because he's gonna do something special out there uh, that no one else can. And so uh, it's it's exciting to see, and it's great for the league. When you look at how you came in the church jump shot and how he proved it over the years. It's kind of, kind of something similar with him a little bit right now. His shot is some people talk about a lot. As, as a point guard, can you just, I guess, explain how much it improved your game and just open things up for you and teammates when you got your jump shot the way you want to for three-point range? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, I think, uh, you know, he's an incredible talent. Um, I would let um, him play the game before we become critical of an area of, you know, someone would say maybe needs improvement. He's young, uh, does a lot of great things on the floor. Um, for me to compare my change in jump shot, it was that I was being moved from handling the ball to off the ball. And also, uh, you know, if you didn't see that coming, you were almost, you would be out of the league. So um, that that's, that's not the comparison here. He's 20. 20 something, he's young, uh, does a lot of good things. Um, sometimes we will label uh, someone that can't do something uh, but also finds a way to win, right? And so, you know, I would judge him on how he's improving uh, winning, how is he improving, you know, less turnovers in that aspect uh, because we always try to nitpick on one of the things that we can't do, and that's just not fair, right? Uh, he's young, he's going to get better and the jump shot will come.